Are you trying to work on your brain health? Are you trying to learn about the connection between food and your brain and mental health? Well, if you are, this is the right video for you. I became aware of all this stuff from interviewing a guy named Dr. Drew Ramsey. He's a psychiatrist. He is also a nutritional psychiatrist on my podcast. And, you know, the reality is, is Dr. Drew, he told me that over 58 million people in the U.S. suffer from anxiety and depression. That number is probably higher now. And the reality is, is like, what's the mainstream advice for mental health? It's go to therapy and take medications. And, you know, that's fine. It depends on the individual, follow the advice of your doctor. But the reality is that the latest scientific advances in neuroscience and nutrition actually show us that what we eat greatly controls our brain health. And our brain health then controls our mental health. And specifically, you know, our brain is this organ that controls our mind. And there are 12 essential nutrients that are considered really important if you don't want to be depressed or anxious and you want to have a healthy brain, okay? Uh, that is folate, which is a B vitamin, uh, iron, omega-3 fatty acids, magnesium, potassium, selenium, thiamine, another B vitamin, vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, vitamin C, and zinc, okay? And so they have actually compiled a list of the 41 top foods to eat for depression and anxiety, okay? And so they split this up into um, into two categories, and this is based off a study. They split it off into animal foods and plant foods. Let's go into the animal foods first. So these are the best foods for antidepressant effects. However, what I'll also say is that in the study, they also said that there are certain foods like meat and eggs um, that they actually didn't put in this profiling scale because they are going off the assumption that cholesterol and saturated fat and sodium, which is found in these things, uh, is not good. And so basically what they're saying is that although this list doesn't contain like eggs or steak, they are still very much a nutrient dense source of food. OK, so the top animal foods, oysters, uh, liver and organ meats in general, uh, poultry giblets, which are the heart of a chicken, clams, mussels, octopus, crab, goat. Tuna, smelt, fish roe, fish eggs, bluefish, wolfish, pollock, lobster, rainbow trout, snail, spotfish, salmon, herring, emu, and snapper. Interesting foods, right? Now, on the plant side for antidepressant plant foods, we have watercress, spinach, mustard, turnips, beet greens, uh, any kind of lettuce, Swiss chard. Herbs like cilantro, basil, parsley, uh, chicory greens, pumelo, which is amazing. It's like a sweeter, bigger grapefruit. Uh, peppers, kale or collards. I don't eat those. Pumpkin, dandelion greens, cauliflower, kohlrabi, red cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, acerola, which is like a great gut, uh, has a lot of great uh, fiber for your gut, uh, butternut squash, papaya, lemons, and strawberries. And so these are the antidepressant foods that you want to watch out for. Let me know if you guys have any questions. If you like this kind of stuff, feel free to check out my other videos, a bunch on nutrition, mental health, brain health. This has been Mark Metry, and I'll see you on the next one.